Okay, I got a bunch of them turned up. I turned up a few extra. Here, here they are. And uh, now we're going to turn the IDs where the insulator will fit in. I made up this this little holder, basically a, a collet. I tapped it and cut a slot all the way through on one side and almost through on the second side, 90, 180 degrees from it. And what, you, what I do is just take and turn turn it in all the way until it's in there snug and tight. A little pliers here to give it a little bit extra. Yep. Have it in all the way. And then I got a stop set in my collet and I just push it in up against the stop. It's not really a hold uh, determining the depth. It's just there so I don't push it in too far. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is turn up the diameter again on this side. So I'll go in and set my get my zero setting for the length and back out. Now this is the same diameter as I turned on the other side, a, a two, uh, 218 diameter and it's um, 63,000 long. So I can go to the same setting. Leaving 10 for finish pass. That's it for the turning. Deburr that a little bit. And put a little camper. So, center roll. So now the first diameter that we're turning is, or, or drilling, I should say, is uh, for the insulator, and it's uh, 94 thou. And what I did was I'll drill with a regular drill, and then I'll drill with a drill that I made into a flat bottom drill. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's a flat bottom drill. So I go in set my depth with the first one and there we don't want to drill all the way through because that's going to be our electrode on the end so I got a 50 thou gauge block I put the drill up against that set my travel indicator to 50 and back out and let's double check that. Yeah, I think I have my indicator bottomed out. That won't do. <laughs> All right, now. All right. Set my travel indicator 50. So, so now I want to go uh, 490,000 steep.
course, you don't want to bang into the bottom of the hole because that will make your grill walk off. You want to be careful. change to my flat bottom drill. And you got to be careful when we go in with a flat bottom drill when it first starts in the hole. Because it doesn't have an angle on the end, it's just flat. And again, I set the depth with my 50 thou gauge. Over here, touch off so it's pinching my 50. Set my travel indicator. Okay, so now I got to go in 490 thousandths. So, and what I'm gonna, what I do is I get the drill started in the hole. So I go. There's, I'm in 100 now. So that put a flat bottom down on the bottom. So the next diameter is for the collar of the insulator. Which is 164. Okay, and that we only want to go uh, 95,000 steep. So again, if you tell gauge block, pinch it, set my travel indicator to 50. Okay, so we want to go in 95,000. <laughs> Now I switch to a flat bottom drill again. So, you know, this drill is the same thing. It's a flat bottom drill. You know. <sighs> Set my depth again. If I had a turret lathe, <laughs> wouldn't have to be constantly set. You could just set them and go, but I don't have a turret lathe, so. Okay. And then again, I, I just kind of get it started so that it's in the hole. <laughs> and that should be it. So now I can take it, take it out of the collet. Thread it. Okay. There. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's it. Let me get an insulator. And here's the insulator and it'll fit right in there and shove right in, down in like so and then the next operation the next operation will be to cut this end for the electrode but and then after that we'll, we'll swage it together 
You're going to create the brass end and the uh, wire element. I will continue on and get these done.